David Shepard from IO On Demand. Thank you, Brock. Okay. <laughs> okay. We love VMware. VMware is great. Good segment, John. Yeah. <laughs> well, he snuck in. You know, we want to make room for alumni. You know, VMware, you know. We're agile at the Cube. At the Cube, you know, we talk about agility and business continuity. We're, we're, we're the same thing, Dave, you know. We're, we're highly available. <laughs> Always on. Great to meet with you. <laughs> okay, Dave, I'll let you. guys do I on demand is actually a uh, get nice and close yeah, get closer I, <laughs> so. I on demand is a uh, one of the services that IO data centers provides to our customers we are IO data centers provides uh, data center as a service to enterprises uh, world's largest enterprises governments and solution providers I on demand is an offering that we developed uh, about three years ago with Hitachi is one of the core components of that and the reason we went with Hitachi is all of our customers demand the always on, always available uh, infrastructure, and Hitachi enables us as part of that solution to provide it. So cloud computing has been a big buzzword, and infrastructure as a service has been a big buzzword in the industry. As a data center as a service provider, we want to make sure we could fulfill our customers' needs, and, and we did that through our IO on demand offering, taking best of class infrastructure and providing that as a service to our Customer base. So you're a customer of Hitachi's both as a cloud service provider, but base, uh, also as a, a data center service provider, correct? Correct. Okay, so, um, and, and so you're a USPV customer, is that right? That's or? correct. So what do you think of this, this announcement, this whole event here? We think it's great. So if, uh, you know, going through the presentations, and we'd obviously had some briefings as a customer going into the, the release, Hitachi has really helped us enable, again, to our customers the what our four key tenants are, which is the flexibility innovation, reliability, and efficiency, reliability being key to every one of our customers. So we operate with 100% uptime service level to our customer base. We can't do that without, you know, the, the uh, least common denominator is obviously going to be uh, the most important. So as a data center provider, we can provide that. If we're going to provide infrastructure as a service or cloud services, we have to have that reliability built in, and we can do that with Hitachi. It's only continued to escalate with their innovation, which ties into our being innovative. We can now deliver that even at a higher level than we could before. So you were at VMworld this year, and um, there was a lot of talk about cloud service providers. John, we had a number on yep. the cube, and the big theme that we had was cloud service providers are, are going, nobody's stopping them, and uh, you know that, right, with your on-demand business. At the same time, um, the, the internal IT operations are beginning to benchmark themselves against the cloud guys. Sure. And so you see both sides of that, that fence. You know, wh what are you seeing there? Well, we're seeing exactly that. So there, there is no, there's no absolute in, in technology. There's no organization that's going to go 100% cloud, uh, but it is going to be a key component to every organization, whether it's an internal cloud, external cloud, or a combination thereof. What we can provide and, and the focus that we think is going to be very important going forward is an enterprise class to that, right? So it's not the organization that can give you a commodity or very inexpensive. That's going to apply to a lot of organizations, not to our customer base. We want to focus on the enterprises and the, the government. They'll pay more for that because they need that. That's what they're looking for. Right? Correct. Correct. They need the security. They need the reliability. They have to have those built into it, and it has to always be available so that you know the reliability is the number one uh, factor in both the data center and, and the cloud computing. You see a lot of, of you know the commodity offerings on the cloud side that are consistently down for various reasons, and it's hard to have 100% uptime, and it's very expensive. So in order to be able to provide that, we, again, partner with organizations, the Cisco's, the VMware's, the Hitachi's that can actually deliver that. So we were talking about that off camera. You sort of, you talk about Cisco, VMware, Hitachi. You kind of kind of built your your own um, VCE-like thing because right. you did it with Hitachi, right? Because right. that's your, your, your core platform provider. Talk a little bit. You, saw, you said you did this before anybody else really did it, right? You sort of engineered well, it yourself? Well, innovation is obviously a... Uh, a core tenant of IO data centers as a whole. We have a very strong engineering background. So, uh, about three years ago, we started in the this offering, and we you know we used that internally on our own infrastructure for over a year, testing that with some uh, beta customers, making sure this was going to work, making sure that this was truly a scalable offering. And then we took that to the market, and it's been very well embraced for the, the every reason I talked to is we spent the time doing it. It wasn't just an a uh, off-the-cuff offering that we needed to get out there and, and attack something. We listened to our customers. We supplied to our customers what they needed, which is the enterprise class, which, you know, VCE is obviously VMware, Cisco, and, and Hitachi have a uh, 
very similar story, right? So it's you know the high quality infrastructure. There's only a few providers out there that can do that, and we've selected Hitachi for the obvious reasons. What are the big things that CIOs are telling you? What's on their short list to do? <laughs> it, we actually saw a couple of them in the presentation today. It's more with less, right? So that's where uh, data centers a service. A lot of organizations have you know traditionally built their own data center. You know, spent the huge capital dollars on building a data center. They can't do that anymore because they have you know they still have to. D- they have to perform internally to the same level, but they have less to do that with. And their CFOs have directed them no major capital spends on data centers. So how can they do that? Well, one is obviously outsourcing to cloud a portion of their business. The other is outsourcing data centers to service, which is what IO does. So we can provide that same level of service without the huge capital outlay to them and also provide that at a, because that's our core business model, at a price point that is much more uh, efficient for them. Excellent. So my last question for you, David, is, is um, what advice would you give to, to customers out there that are looking to, you know, do more with less? Call I.O. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Excellent it, advice. That's like the same as 1-800? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. IODatacenters.com, <laughs> exactly. No, it's, it's, it's a value way. So it's really look into the details. So there's a, a lot of information out there, and a lot of that information is, um, you know, marketing spin, so to speak. But get in the details. You know, we're very I.O.'s. Um, you know, our color scheme is, is black and white, and it's, it is black and white, input, output. Make sure you're getting what you're actually thinking you're going to get. Excellent. All right. Well, we're here with David Shepard of uh, I- IO On Demand and, and IO Data Centers, right? Correct. And um, it's great to have you in the Cube. Thanks for coming by. Absolutely. All Thank right. you. All right. Appreciate it. Oh, we got Brian out. Householder up next. Right. Thank you. He's our uh, last guest of the day. And uh, Brian kicked off the day today in the main session, and... Uh, He's going to anchor the cube. So let's go. We'll go, we'll go find him, and uh, <laughs> we'll be right back. So.